Hello, I'm Adam Ferry, Occupational Therapist and Director of the OT Service. In this short video, I'm going to reinforce one of the messages that we've talked quite a lot about um, in a webinar and in some documentation on the Abacus Academy website, which I would really encourage you to go and look at. And that's around bathing and risk assessment. One of the things that we get asked a lot is uh, around epilepsy in particular and bathing and how occupational therapists or organisations make that jump to showering without necessarily considering what the market offers to be able to reduce that risk assessment, to alter that risk assessment. So if we think about how we manage risk or how we assess risk, we're looking at the individual, and this is very familiar language for occupational therapists, we're looking at the person, the environment and the task, the occupation. So if we think about how we can adapt the environment to negate or to reduce some of those risks, we're not going to take them all away, then, then we're in a better position to determine whether that's satisfactory enough for that task to continue, I guess. Now one of the big things, particularly with epilepsy, but lots of other things like fetal incontinence for example, um, and risk has been around the need to remove the person from the water quickly should they have a seizure. The obvious risk there is drowning. Now that's absolutely right. However, there is no need to go straight to showering if the person f finds bathing a meaningful occupation for themselves. So if they say, I really want to bathe, then why should the risk assessment say, you've got epilepsy, you shouldn't, that isn't occupation focused. What we're now in a position to do is to consider how that term of removing the person from the water can be changed to how can we remove the water from the person. And the Gemini platform bath is one of the perfect solutions for that. If you consider this is the person bathing, submerged in water, with or without postural supports, the person has a seizure in the bath, rather than have to hoist the person from the bath as would have had to be done previously, we are removing water from the person. They remain posturally supported, but now not submerged in water, risk averted. The person's needs can be managed, risk assessment continues, you might then need to remove the person from the bath, but that, that urgent need to remove the person from the bath has been completely taken away and we're supporting bathing as a meaningful occupation. Just something little to consider there, something to reflect on. A lot more information on the Abacus Academy website. Thanks for listening.